So in this video, I want to talk about how the viewport meta tag that you put in your HTML, which is right here, how this will impact your media queries that you add in your CSS. I've got a very simple one here. I'm saying my default color is deep sky blue. That's what color the text is here. But if my page is less than 600 pixels wide, I want the text to change to orange. If I resize my browser, there we go. You can see it changes back and forth between orange and blue. Simple enough. Now what I've also done is I've used HTTP server and I'm loading this same page so that I can access it over my Wi-Fi network on my mobile device. Now here it is. I've used the remote devices in Chrome. If you bring up the developer tools, down here developer tools and then you go to this menu under more tools you will find remote devices if your phone is connected by USB to your computer you can go to this remote devices tab here's your device you click on it and then it'll show you you know these are the things that you've got connected so my viewport meta tag that's this one right here that's this page I have this on my phone so if I interact on my phone you can see the screen moves up and down as I move my finger up and down or I can click and drag here the same way and the little circle represents where the cursor is on the screen all right same page just on my mobile device and on my desktop browser or my laptop browser now you can see here I haven't zoomed in or anything it's just the contents being cut off I'm not seeing the whole thing and that's because the amount of pixels width that's being used by default on the page it's giving me sort of this area of the screen it's just giving me this portion there's a natural amount of zoom that my device is applying here which makes the page very difficult to read and use and interact with so how do we get around that well, in here, the viewport meta tag. If you add this meta tag with the name viewport inside of content, we can say, hey, you know what? I want the width of my mobile device screen to act as if it is, and then I can put in an amount. I can say 2000. All right, let the screen pretend that it is 2000 pixels wide. If I refresh this, okay. Now, 100% of my page, it's 200 pixel, or 2,000 pixels wide. If I come in and I change this to 400, I save, I'll come back and I'll refresh. There. Now, it thinks it's 400 pixels wide. That's how much width it has to work with. When it was set to 2,000, it thought I had all this space to work with. Now that it's set to 400, it's making things fit inside of 400. It's saying that's how big it is. And now my media query, which was max width 600 pixels, well, I've set it to four, that's less than 600, so I'm seeing the orange. If I put it at 599, save it, come back and refresh, there we are. Once again, I get the orange. But there's still a little bit of a scroll. So I need to find a way of telling the browser that however many device pixels there are, however many physical pixels there are in my mobile device, in this screen, that's what I want to set as my width so I get the proper size layout. Luckily for us, there's a keyword for that. I can say width equals device width. So this is the number of actual pixels that are available to me, and I'm saying let the CSS rendering think that that is exactly how many pixels are available. So we refresh and there we are. This is exactly what I want to get. And I can scroll up and down. This fits perfectly inside of here. And this is what we want to do with our meta tag. This is really what makes our page able to render things nicely for mobile. So we have the viewport meta tag telling the CSS 
how many pixels are available on the screen, and then we have one or more media queries. So here's one. I could add another one to say that once you get above a certain point, say min width is 1200 pixels. Once I get above that, I'm going to do some different things. Once I get, say, above 2000 pixels, now I'm going to be dealing with really wide screens. So I want to do something different with my layout. I want to load different background images. What you do is completely up to you, but the viewport meta tag, once you get beyond just the laptop, this is really what the mobile device tells the CSS engine. It tells it what's available in terms of the amount of width, the number of pixels, then your layout can fit perfectly in whatever the device is. So hope that gets you started. Hope that gives you enough information to start playing around and understanding a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.